All right, so I just finished working on the thumbnail for the uh, High School DD episode that comes out tomorrow. And I gotta say, screw you, Issei. You made my job so much harder than it had to be. Because, uh, yeah, I, I use uh, three things to get my thumbnails done. Uh, I don't really know how I'm going to show, show this all perfectly or what my plan is. I'm literally just going, but whatever. Yeah, I use DaVinci Resolve to, for my normal editing and, and software and everything. I actually have Studio. I, bu I bought it back a long time ago because I like video editing and wanted to render fast even though I don't put whatever. But yeah, uh, Issei made it hard on me this time because uh, this right here is how the it looks normally. And uh, normally, I well, recently I've been trying to been trying to use the Magic Mask on the Fusion page on the Fusion page. Which does wonderfully on like the Ed and Eddie and, and some of the uh, My Little Pony things. But uh, for E say no. For for D High School DD, no. I have to actually go through like a... What, what's this thing called? Sh show me what you're called. Do a curve uh, thing for the... Uh, uh, I don't... I don't know. I'm still... I'm, I'm still learning something. Some things since I just do reactions. So it's, I don't know everything yet, but... Yeah, you know, we have to like just do these like little dot things, and uh, yeah, uh, I have to, so I have to try usually follow their out, his outline for everything to cut it out because I like to do like a little green screen thing on on a fancy photo, then bring it up here. Here's the thumbnail if you if you want to know what that's about. Though by the time you see this, the video should be out because it literally comes out tomorrow, and I'm recording this for I don't even know when. But this recording I'm making like well day before, but still. Yeah, so I usually have to, have to follow the outline, but his hair is right there, but I can't I can't find it the first time. Like, I found I found part of it, but it was just so pointy and everything. This one, is, this one looks like his own. But that's not my main problem. You're like, I can see my see his hair right here. It ends up here and everything. It's right over here. I can't see I couldn't see this thing for the longest time. Like I forgot that it, I. <clears throat> I don't know why I was expecting his hair to come like from right here and go straight down to like his neck and then go down. But I forgot about his little tail thing, whatever he, whatever he called these things for his, his design and everything. So I forgot about that. So I had to go redo it like multiple times because I kept forgetting about it. And then I even had to brighten, use this one layer to brighten everything up so that I could see everything. This is how it looks without it. And, so this is how it looks without it. Then I have to go brighten it up so I can actually see everything, which it's not a lot, but it's something at least. And then I can go cut it through. Like there, there's all the lines and stuff. I had to go through and hand, I even, I missed one. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna let that bother me. I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Okay. Well, I can't see it on there. So it's not, I'm not gonna let it bother me, but yeah. I had to go through and do that a lot of time, so much, because he has so much hair sticking out. I mean, I could have chose any other scene in the the episode to do, but still, what the heck, you say? Why do I have to make my job so hard by having your hair blending with the background? Why can't you do do like I do and try to distance yourself with light lighting and everything? Though, technically, the monkey back there kind of gets kind of blends with my hair and everything, because he, he's also black black and well, so that's why. <laughs> I have a green screen, but I just don't feel like setting it up. Even though it's literally the El Elgato one, so I can easily... Eh, I might look into putting that, because it might actually work. But yeah, Issei made my job so much harder because of that. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to claim by that before I get uh, started with the reaction, okay? Hey guys, what's up? Me, Procast, here today with the next episode of High School DD. We are on episode 10 right now, because, uh... I already, I already did nine, which should be up up there. Yes, because I'm technically pointing. Where I'm looking at my camera like this is where, where like this is on on here. So I have to look over on OBS. Right here, there should be a card thingy to where uh, you can go watch the previous episode, which is episode nine. But right now we're on episode ten. We are almost done with the series. I have, I have, I did not think we could make it this far. Yes, I still gotta go through uh, My Little Pony and everything. That's gonna take a while, but, but this, uh, this, well, that's actually one of the bad. But yeah, I, I am actually sad it's coming to a closing, even though it's like not over yet. I still have 10, 11, 12. 
and that's all that I'm aware of because there's no season five. <clears throat> Unless there are, are there OVAs or anything that I actually missed? If so, let me know in the comments down below. Even though more likely by the time you see this, I I don't even know I don't even know what I'll be doing. By the time you see this, I'll be on the moon. Some for some reason, what? Uh, I don't even know I'll be on the moon. When when the hell would you guys see this? Uh, thank God I have a schedule. If uh, I keep to my schedule, this comes out the 28th of this uh, month, which is Jan uh, not it's not January. I I've gone ahead in time, okay? <laughs> it's uh, Dece December, December, the 28th. So I yeah, got, got a few weeks. My ankle just cracked and it hurt. But yeah, uh, bro, episode 10. And uh, last time, uh, we uh, we uh, whew, we had a kind of emotional thing at first. Because uh, we had to get go through Eve's face. I'm literally pulling up episode nine, so I can go, go back and recap that real fast. Uh, I, I had some, it was like something I forgot about. Eve had been uh, emotionally compromised due to Rainier, that girl, that fallen angel girl who was the first girl from back in ye olden episode one. Ye olden episode. But yeah, because of that, he was severely damaged and just didn't want to. Even though he, he did fall in love with Rhea and all the other girls, he didn't want to fall that hard to where he could potentially get just get used and then killed just like later on. Which is totally understandable. But it also kind of caused him to hurt Rhea's as well with that. If I, if I came to head the episode before, episode before that, which is eight, which I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Michael, I keep hitting you. I'm so sorry. But uh, yeah, that was uh, episode eight where he really, really hurt Rias, and now she's not really talking to him and everything. But uh, hopefully, we're, he can get over it and no, not get not get over it, heal from it is the best way to put it. Get over it sounds so like uncaring and rude and everything, but healing it is definitely that. I even I still have a bunch of healing to do from stuff that happened to me. I, I'm good at hiding it. I have a mask and everything, and a hat. Go see my hat. This is my hat. I I can't really wear it because this looks this looks dumb. And like my headphones don't read really go backwards like that. Dude, are there headphones that do that? I mean, I could just get like the earbuds, but I don't want to. Yeah, that's my hat. And you've seen the other hats I've had if you if you've been from the channel for a long time. Still, yeah. The uh, also the rating game has started. Let's get past the emotional stuff that's over there. Uh, the writing game has started. We're going. We're going to Sour Oregon Hits Team. <clears throat> we also met the World, Lord of the Dead Hades, which is the coolest design ever. I wish I could see more of him. But we only get like this and two more episodes, so I'm, I'm never going to see him in action. So that sucks. I mean, I barely ever seen anyone, anyone other than the East East and Reese's uh, team in action. What would it be? Wait, would it be more accurate to call? It? Issei's team or Reese's team? I feel like it could be go either way. Uh, mm. Yeah, the, the, the cult club, I guess, is what they were called, I think. The cult organization. Also, I just noticed Irina, Irina's wearing they're like sneakers. Everybody else is wearing like normal school uniform and stuff. But Issei's the only one who makes it look no, like different because of that red shirt he has underneath it. Also, we saw the saw Riser. He, he was uh, huh? he he he's okay, but a lot better than from the first one we had him. We had the uh, rating game has started. There are special rules on it that are way different from when we had a uh, Rises game and the evident when Theodora, the the Theodora the Explorer, uh uh, in his rating game from the previous season. I probably forgotten other ones or just there weren't in the thing, so I don't remember. Remember someone mentioned that before. If you know who you are, I don't have your name in front of me, so I've forgotten. But definitely I know know who I know who you are, you know who you are. We all we all know who you are. But do you know who you are? Even though I just say you know who you are, but do you know who you are? Because I don't know who I am. Who am I? That's why I'm procrastinating. But yeah, uh, the rules are simple. Uh for the uh get for how we 
do the fights itself. We have to roll dice. And from what I understand, the n numbers, uh, Rius and Sarah have both have to roll dice, and whatever the n number lands on gets added together, and they can only use a piece of that that number or less, or like multiples of that number. Uh, and uh, Issei has to be saved for a long time because you have to roll an eight for an eight for Issei, and then eight for Rius and twelve for Sarah while uh. I forgot what every single other number is because I can't I can't read their numbers that easy. But uh you know this time uh last episode we uh, we got three so it is our knight against I guess our org's knight I guess well uh, it's literally a knight on a horse so it'd be funny if that was the queen like somehow like a not even a knight or whatever but uh, yeah, so we got Kiba versus, uh, this one dude who, or, it could be a dude that, I don't know. So, it, it's against, uh, these two in this open field, so. Hopefully this goes well. I'm hoping, hoping for the best. But, uh, my, cause my, my hope, cause, uh, Asia can't fight, she's more for healing. Also, we are, uh, speaking of healing, we are, are only allowed to have one uh, set of Phoenix Sears per, per both team. So we, we gotta use it carefully for, you know, or, I mean, do you have to drink the entire thing or like, it's like once you take a sip, it's just over and you can't use it anymore. Cause if we could do that, we could probably make it last. But if not, we gotta like save that for the right moment. Cause I feel like, uh, I feel like the big fight, the big fight in fight would be Issei versus Cyborg. So we got, we, the only way we get get that is we get a tw uh, twelve somehow, or get up to a twelve. I'm still so I confused on some some of the rules. So please forgive me, but uh, I bet that'll be the big final fight. So we got keep like I said, Kiba versus this guy. My best bet it best bet is that we had two. Uh, wait, uh, oh yeah, Rena's not even part not even part of the team, so she. Uh, she's not there. Okay, she shouldn't be there. Russ Weiss's part, I think. I don't know. Uh, let me let me look see who's part of our team or uh, team. So I literally do forget who the hell is part of a team a lot of times. The, the, so we have we have uh, try to get a group shot. Got Russ Weiss. We got Gatsby, Konica, Akino, Rias. Uh, uh. He's, he's the main character. Issei, uh, Zenovia, and, Ka and Kaiba. I know I said his name wrong. I did it on purpose. But, uh, yeah, that's our team because Arena's technically an angel, so she can't fight, but... Ross Weiss is a, a if you want because she only got left behind by Odin to be kind of just stay there. So, I don't really get how she's part of the team. She's not a devil. Unless she became a devil one, some, sometime and I wasn't paying attention. Eh? So, uh, yeah, that. Also, why the hell is it that only Ross Weissler can say, uh, armor or anything during the fight? That seems. Well, technically, is, uh, uh, Zenobia. Zenobia has her bad outfit, and Ozzy has her. She's a bishop, right? Her, uh, her. The uh, dress thing. I, I don't know the name. What? Um, dress thing, but. Everybody's in a school uniform. So, I feel like that's totally unfair to some somebody, but I, uh, I could be entirely wrong. Anyway, uh, yeah. <clears throat> that's enough talking about. I haven't... I've been talking for a long time. But anyway, uh, I, uh... I'm just curious where I'm go. I actually don't have a prediction yet. Because I... I just know that Issei and, uh... Sorry, we're going to be the final fight. It'd be funny if they're, like, the next fight after this, but... Let's get going, because I really want to know how it's going to turn out for Kiba, because I don't know anything about this, this dude, the other dude. So, uh, let's get right to the video, okay? Okay, High School DD, Episode 10. High School DD Hero, I forgot to say it. High School DD Hero, Episode 10, begin 3, 2, 1, go. It looks like the Grimmery family has chosen Kiba, a knight, yes. for the first match. Facing Kaiba. him from the Bale family. It's nice to meet you. I am a knight currently in the service of Lord Cyroorg. Name's Beluga Furcus. 
Beluga. And this is my trusted steed and partner, Altobrow. Altobrow. Kiva, I'm looking forward to trading blows with you. It should be good. I, I like how I'm going to remember Beluga's name more than Ebayaska's well name. General, Hi. Are you ready? Let yes. My nose keeps hitching. Everything back. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. I'll take. Go, go, uh, Kiva. Fight the blue one. Oh, that gets fast. Better go fast. That's... It's incredible that you can keep up with me. Yes. I'm even on horseback. You are truly a force to be reckoned with, Sir Kiva. Mm -hmm. Thanks, so are you. The way you and your steed move as one is impressive. However... Yeah, I'm... Holy demonic sword of lightning! Yeah, it's so weird that your horse moved it fast. You may have oh. a holy demon sword, which Ooh. I'm sure is rather effective against most devils. After image? But it doesn't matter if you can't connect. That's a lot of horses. I didn't want to play all my cards so early in the game, but you've left me with no choice. Yeah, um, uh, I'd rather show off what I can do now than lose, though. Yeah. I've got too many people counting on me to win. This Come on, Kiva, you family. got this. And for Rias Grimmer, Balance Breaker. It's out of combat. Ooh. I call when this he... one Glory Drag Trooper, a Balance Breaker of the Blade Blacksmith subspecies. It's new. Impossible. Oh, cool. Hi. I'm one of the knights serving Lord Syro Orphan. Uh -huh. Name's Lebon Crosell. This rocky fellow here is our rook, Gondama Balam. We shall be your opponents. My name uh, is Gondam Ga and my part Gondala I'm gonna go back. Name's Lebon Crosell. You're Lebon. This rocky fellow here is our rook, Gondama Balam. We Ga shall be your opponents. Gondala Balam. Ga Gondal my Gondola, I'm actually trying, try, try Gondola Botla Bondum? Gondola Bot. I'm gonna call him Golden. If you could say the name. Uh, well, you, I can't, I have to believe you because you, you can't prove it. Go, go, go. I need to go all out from the start. Yeah, the rock, the goal is more. The most, uh. That's your new attack, Nicolata Mode Level 2! Oh, yeah, she's got two tails! That's a big golem. Also, uh, uh Rosweiser is a rook, so she became a devil. Good for her. Or she's still a Valkyrie. I don't. I don't know. Oh. He's rock hard. Yeah. Yes. Sir Punch. Wait, she gets more more levels, so she can strong get more tails. Oh hey. Ah. Type of gravity, gravity thing. Power of gravity. Yes, I hate those powers. That's Crossell's sacred gear. It allows him to control gravity within his field of vision. Ah. As long as he doesn't look away, his power will hold. This is not good. That's we can throw awesome. sand in his eyes. <laughs> Gotta go. That's right. I forgot. You're a magic swordsman. I inherited the power of the Crossell family and a magician, but the gravity is from cool. my sacred gear. Uh, you got a lot of shit go- <laughs> Ow! Can't tell you okay? Bells. But as long as one of us survives, then it's okay. We- we- that way we still win the match. you okay? Yeah? I'm sorry. You don't That's have to fine. Apologize. I'm actually happy. We took them down, stupid yeah. ass twat. Yeah, they didn't stand a chance against us. That's the end of the second match. The Knight and Rook of Cyber Orc Bale, as well as the Rook of Rius Gremory, have been retired. That Yay. Three of Cyber Orc's pieces are now off the board. We're, we're doing pretty well. Has lost one piece. How's Konako? You seem calm. I'm not. When Konako was defeated. I thought for sure you would be angrier. I am angry. But right now, I'm going to hold on to those feelings. So when the time comes, I can unleash them all into one giant shitstorm. Sounds like fun. Currently, I can't wait. The Gremory family has the bigger advantage. Six. However, it's still yeah. too early in the game to call it. Okay, We're doing pretty well, well so far. But dice. I feel like something's going to go wrong in the next one. The total is eight. That's There's eight. Several okay. combinations that could be used for such a high number. But the real question is, who will I'll be... I'll go ahead and tell you. I'm sending my bishop. 
Oh? No way! We've never seen a public announcement of the participant before! But I'm not, I, what do you list your name? My bishop has a technique that's rather effective against Issei Hiodo's perverted attacks. I doubt he can beat it. Crap, she has an anti-me technique? Dang. Yeah. Well, now, doesn't that sound interesting? Yeah, at least he's been all open about it. single woman alive who's ever been able to beat off Issei. The Red <laughs> Dragon Emperor is a fascinating fellow. I'll admit yes. that I'm intrigued by some of the unique moves he's created. In so, can we not send Issei in? Is, I doubt it can stand up to Issei's perversity. Uh, you so want it? Okay. I accept your challenge. Dang it, yeah, Issei! He could have sent someone else in. Right then. It's up to you. Kick. Don't worry, I'm a found that woman hardcore. Ooh. We got it. It appears the Graven Dragon has risen to Cyber Orc Challenge. This is going to be terrible. I feel like we're going to lose. We're going to have to actually. Oh, Thank God we're popular. We're going to get. We're going to loot. Oh, nice place. And that's the start of the buzzer. Begin the match. Uh. No matter okay. what skills you possess, I am taking you down, grabbing dragon maybe she's, style. Maybe she's not. Uh, uh, Balance breaker. Maybe she's uh, blessing or something. No, I don't think that, that was doing. I don't know. She's a seductress, Su succubus. Oh, she she's a exhibition or nudist or something like that. Take a technique. I would never have thought of that, to be honest. Why is that the not what I would expect for some reason? Ladies and gentlemen, we have never seen this before. Coriana appears to be attacking the Red Dragon Emperor by striking a number of boner inducing poses. <laughs> oh my. Yes, the only way to beat him. Every man in the crowd is in an unbreakable trance. Oh, I'm pretty good. How awesome this is. Have to focus on winning. Yes. Hey, what's up, sexy lady lops? Tell me what you're gonna do. Next, I'm going to unbutton my shirt, one button at a time. <gasps> oh no. She's at least she's very honest, shipper. Issei, what are you doing? Attack her! I'm sorry, but I can't. Her milkmaker yeah. told me her next move, and I don't want to miss it. Give me two minutes. Yeah. Dang it. I can't believe it. She's managed to take Issei's love for party others and use it against him. Yes. This is a perfect attack, utilizing a complete understanding. Why is this taken so seriously? Male household is truly formidable. Okay, sir. What's that? so you're taking this way too seriously, man. Yeah. Huh? No. Not the panties. You have to go top to bottom. Those are the rules. Oh, not good. The bishop of the veil team is then returned. I can't even. I can't even laugh. Yeah. Okay. So you're only one because she, she, didn't go top to bottom. I can get behind. I'm gonna make a pun saying get behind that, but uh, whew, okay. <laughs> Thank God she's an amateur. She almost got him. Tired. Issei Hyoto wins. Yay! Oh, well, looks like the show is over, folks. Wow, that was a disappointing match. Yes. You're disappointed? How do you think I feel? What's her problem? She ignored the natural loss of stripping. She's not, I mean, he's not wrong. On to the next match, then. Okay. And the total is eight. Twice Again. Since he say Yoro cannot be sent out back to back, I wonder which okay. the Gremory family will choose to utilize this time. It's My Renas. So it could be any combination. I think yeah, I should be the one to go. Yeah, coming at you. He has his gaspy. I believe in you. The Gremory team has chosen the knight that wields the holy sword, Deranda. Oh, is it? 
There's another you got. That's a skinny man. The only person of Sarg's tip me I know is Beluga. I always think he's a vampire sometimes. Ooh, what's that? Fire! Roger. That's no longer a skinny man. Oh, dragon. The Bune family is incredibly strong. They can wield the power of dragons. Man, sure, it's, it's, that's not. Push up, but I might be able to remove the curse for you. How? You have a chalk. Wherever you are. Gasper, do you really think this will work? Yes, no. I do. Why? I know a method utilizing a bit of Issei's blood, which should remove the curse. I just have Issei's to blood? This magic circle. But when do I get Issei's blood? It oh. takes a little while to start working. Of course it does. Zenovia. I think I know what my role is in this match. I'm going to buy you some time. Don't be reckless, Casper. Well, you do control so time. I can't do that. I have to get us all the time I can. Truth is, you're going to need Zenovia's strength in order to win this rating game. I yeah, that's true. Fire, but where's your threat? Perhaps Don't worry about that. Come on, Gaspy, do something. Right you can take me by yourself? I yes. have to say your courage is adorable, but it what? won't save you. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Ow. Gasper, please be careful. Oh my, is that the sweet voice Just of the horseman? Dang it. But yeah, I've always get the show. So weird he doesn't have uh, like vampire wings too. Ow! I can't watch! I can! That's painful. Why am I hungry? But no matter what, I am a man of the Grimmery family. Rule number one for any boys in the Grimmery household. Well, Gatsby, I believe in you. A real man always protects the ladies. Jasper. One Gatsby. Ow! Come on. The second most important rule for any men of the Grimmery household, a real man stands up tall regardless of the situation. I forgot all about you. Just give up. No. There's no way that you could ever defeat us. Then fuck up time. Back off. The curse has been lifted. Why are your boobs are bigger? I'll admit that I was a bit careless earlier. Yes, because you were. Because that, your spell caught me off guard. Uh huh. Jasper. You stood on this battlefield and fought with great determination. Uh, you you, you can stop warrior. talking and just attack. And now I want they can count each to cast no spell each time you can talk. I'll strike them down! You will never defeat me! I'll kill yes, you! Will. <sighs> the ice has stopped time! Impossible! That's what you two get for underestimating Gaspar! Thank you. Good job, Gaspar. You, you did it! You, you got us to win! Of have all been retired. I forget he's a bishop. The game is really starting to heat up. At this point, seven members of the Grimmery team are left against just three of the Vale team. However, Where did, the, the pawn members are very strong. The, the pawn is terrifying. The is there going to be mystery? Beth is terrifying. There we have it. A no. total of nine. I repeat, nine. So, uh. I guess it's my turn to battle. Besides, we got this. They'll send out their queen in this match. Hopefully. Yes, that's probably true. Or to send I'll out the pawn. To you, then. Right. I'll do my best not to. Much more set to send out the pawn. There's a good yeah. chance that we could win if we sent Issei out this time around. What? But I think you'd only be able to win if you use the Triina. Okay. It's best to save it for now. You'll need it yeah. more at the end of the game. And Akino understands that fact, which is why she yeah. wants here to fight this time. She knows it's a risk Why are you to telling us her, that? I'm sure her plan is to wear down the enemy. Mm-hmm. We'll do whatever it takes to win. Konako and Gasper prove that with their sacrifices. Yeah, yeah, You're okay. More okay. Than I expected. Hi. What's her name? In that case. <clears throat> but I really think we should wear down our opponent as much as we possibly can. Zenobia, Ross Visa. Will you go with me? Yep. Count me in. Okay. I'll give them everything I've got. You guys. Well, hope you guys do it again. 
The president has saved all of us in one way or another. You mm -hmm. made us who we are. It's time for us to return that love. I understand. I'm depending on you three. Yeah. We'll do our best yeah, to bring I, you victory. So we gotta get the six again. To well, twelve again. Yeah, I hear you, brother. But wait, we. Oh, we have to wait two more towers for Sarah to come, come up. up with this idea. Looks like she's thinking outside the box. We mm -hmm. won't die easily. It's fine. We can die in this game. Don't worry, Syra Org. We'll send you to the Red Dragon Emperor in the best of states. <laughs> I do believe that's the classiest trash talk I've ever heard. Yeah. I feel like we're going loose that's dramatically. The <coughs> this match will begin. Don't you dare! It. I'll kill you, show. What the hell? You're going to end on me like that? Yes, yeah, already almost five o'clock. Jesus. All right, so uh. We're doing very good. Um, the only victory Cyrus had uh, up to now, because Cyrus Org is definitely gonna win, but he might be a little tired. He, he might have like a little scratch or something. Yeah, he'll he'll be a little. He might be winded, maybe. Hopefully, that's the best we could hope for. But uh, her uh, queen, I mean her, the uh, his queen uh, has a very powerful ability. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> that that's going to be a thing. So, wait, let's see. He, Sarug has himself, his queen, and his pawn left. And we have, uh, like, a lot of our team, we're going, so we're going to lose. Like, I really do hope they win, but... I mean, that'll, that'll be a surprise if they win, but, but my mind still Issei being the one to beat him if they play it smart, so we will have Issei, Rias, Azia, and that'll pretty much be it. But, so... Hmm. It's gonna be a hard, gonna be a hard one. Because, uh... Yeah, that, that'd be three, three on three, technically. <laughs> technically. So, uh, uh, I almost had a good view of, uh... Okay, so we got... Akino's been beaten. She got beaten in one hit. Azia, not really a fighter, she's more of a healer. So she probably have to go with somebody? Issei, we're saying for Sour Org, uh, now. Uh, Rasweisa, Zenovia, and Kibar going to go, go fight Sour Org, so... More likely, they're gonna be beaten. So we have three left. So since when Cyrus gets back, he can't go again. It, so we probably won't get another twelve until next uh, until the fight after that. Uh, hope, hopefully, or we just never get twelve again. But uh, it'll probably be Rias versus either the Queen or the Pawn, and. Ozzy has to fight, I guess, but I don't even know what she can do. Maybe she learns something new. Kiba learns some new moves. I mean, hell, everybody learns some new stuff. But, uh... Yeah, because Issei's the best bet against Sour Org. Unless Rias got super powerful, but still. Hmm. But anyway, let's talk about the fights that happened. So we had the uh, Beluga, the whale, the whale knight, versus Kiba. Kiba won because he had a uh, knight clone jutsu. And so did the uh, other night. They both had cl clone attacks. So very good, very convenient that that Kiba had that. And he was like a bit fast. I say like a in an inch, like a second fast. Or how do you determine speed? Like speed difference? Would that be a second? Yeah, I guess a second. Mile, mile per minute faster? I guess I don't know. So Kiba won that. Then we had. We were doing pretty good. We had the uh, Blondie and Golem. I'm not going to try his name again. No matter how much I want to. I gave up on that. Versus Konako and Raswaisa. Konako was beaten. Uh, just just barely. And uh, But we were able to beat the other two. Which is very, very good. Though they, they beat us at the very, very end. Which sucks. For that one. Uh... Then we had uh, 
Issei versus his, uh... Bishop? I think it's Bishop? Who, all, who almost won if she didn't break the rules of stripping. Which, I'll be honest, I would, I would completely agree with uh, Issei about that, that. Yeah, I, I agree with Issei about that. So she only... If she had if she had done that, she would have still lost. It would just take longer, I think. Actually, he he may, he may have lost with that. If she had done it right, do you think Issa would have lost? I it, it go go either way. It like Issa is way more powerful, but he would be distracted severely. I feel like any normal man would. I feel like. So, uh, well, Taylor, what the hell is a normal man? I don't know. Any, per any person who's like that would. I would be heavily distracted. But. Probably still be attacking while. Uh, letting it happen at the same time. I do enjoy how seriously. Azazel was taking this. Why did it feel like a. Like a Yu-Gi-Oh match. Like how serious to take a card game. Those. Those card games are, are pretty. Pretty power, uh, important. But then we got Gatsby. Gatsby pull, pulled his weight. I mean, he he's a small, small boy, but uh, pulled pull his weight. How much do you think he weighs? How much do you think his bat, his little bats weigh? Uh, I'm not going to do the math for that. Uh, am I different? Thank God he needed a uh, spell to break a curse. Thank God all items like that are allowed. That's a big seal, and thank God we had. Also, that was a lot of Issei's blood in that vial. Unless you didn't, like, uh... The little gouges she made in the ground were not that deep. I feel like that's a lot of blood. So, I don't know. But Gatsby did, did very well to, um, uh, to hold his own against uh, both the dragon thing and the... Uh, magic user. I don't remember either of their names. I'm ne never gonna remember them. Beluga, Sour Org, are the only ones I'm going to remember. Because Beluga was an easy name. Yeah, uh, Gatsby did very well. We should, I'll be very proud of him for do, for stand, standing up and uh, taking a pounding like that. Because, uh, yeah, he got stepped on by a giant dragon rock thing. Uh, it's, more, uh, it's just not really a rock, it's more just a, just a giant, giant dragon. But it does feel like it should be on either a Yuga card or a Bakugan anime. I feel like. But I, don't, I don't know what, but, uh, yeah. But thank God Gaspin can stop time wherever he looks. But now, we uh, we also had a Akino versus the uh, Cyrus Queen and, uh, whew, uh, her, the Queen's ability is, is uh, gonna be hard to get by, because uh, she can block a uh, magical attacks and send her back. Uh, it's the, um, What's the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card? Mirror Force. I, have, I didn't even finish typing in before I found it. Uh, me, it, was, it was, she has the Mirror Force ability, but it looks like a black hole. Black, black Mirror Force. So uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, uh, pretty much, if she, uh, I believe that if Akuna got that, she got the hit off, she would have won, but because it was enough to beat her in one attack, so. She beat she beat herself, technically. So, ooh, boy, this. So, but now we're on Zenobia, Kiba, and uh, Ross Weiser for Cyborg. <laughs> like I said, I want to believe they can do it, but uh, yeah, I am not going to hold my breath. You can hold your breath for as much as you want. But I will not. They will at most tire them down. That it will tire them as one person. Tire him down. Cause uh Yeah, I I, I I yeah. But how much would it tire him down? It's gonna suck if they don't even do a lick of damage to him at all. You know, so yeah, good, good luck guys and well, guy and gals. But uh yeah. Like I said, my best bet of uh, what's going to happen next is 
like Sire works on win no matter what, so he'll be back in, but he can't go again. <clears throat> and Rias hasn't sent herself in yet, so we have to get she has to hope we have to hopefully roll an eight. Well, if we don't roll eight, we can't send an Issei or a Rias. So it'll be Ozia. She, she's a bishop. What the hell is a bishop worth? Four, I think. Because uh, we can't send a bishop in with a key because that was a three. So. Hmm. Yeah, my best bet would be. We'll roll, we're not gonna roll an eight. So we'll, we'll be forcing Asia, but we'll. I bet that I'll also be forced to send the pawn in as well. Because. Rias has to. We'll probably have to fight the queen because the queen's still in. Like, how how long do we have to. Uh, what, do we have to beat all of them? No, wait, I think. Uh, if memory's correct, I think if we beat the leader. It's game over, I think. So if you beat, we at some point beat Sour Org, we can win. So we don't have to beat the Queen or the uh, Pawn. We just have to stall for until they can. It so we can get Issei, Issei and Sour Org back in. Hmm. Because we are technically on the winning thing, but winning side, but it could easily change if Rias gets beat. Oh, so. If that, if goodbye that, I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, I think it's if the le if their leader of the group uh, gets beaten, it's also game over. So if Rius loses to the queen, uh, it's game over, which would be very anticlimactic, you know. So, but I d that, that his pawn is also a mystery one. Mm. I mean, anyone who's seen the episode, the next episode, so definitely knows what the pawn can do. I'm pretty sure that pawn will be in the next episode. Unless it's like a how Dragon Ball Super they're in the uh, tournament of destroyers between Ch Champa and uh, Beerus. How Beerus brought that uh, Monoko, Mono that whatever dude, just it's a bluff to where uh, to not win. Be funny if that's nah. Cyrog has too much pride. He probably, he probably has a very strong pawn. So, hmm. So we just, we just really got help. Like I said, the pawn's never been used. I mean, maybe he's not gonna use them. Be weird, but yeah. So yeah, we just have to help, okay? But uh, yeah, I've run out of things to say because I'm, I'm not gonna spend like two hours trying to figure out what the hell is gonna happen. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it because I certainly did. And uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that yada yada stuff. Uh, just tell me how your day is doing. Good, okay? Is it going good? Going, going bad? If it's going bad, uh, hopefully I made it a little better because that's what I'm trying to do. Or, well, if you, get, get, if you find a $20 bill, that'll definitely make you happy. So I hope you find a $20 bill, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.